Stotsky inexperienced at, at this level. He's Russian national champion though, and that is not anything to be sniffed at. He boxed in the World Youth Championships in Yerevan and Armenia in 2012 and won a gold medal. I was there for that, to see him do that. But that's a long time ago, it's nine years ago. His opportunities have been limited. This is his first World Championships. Sanji won that Asian Championship gold back in May, beating Vasily Levitt in the final in Dubai. I felt that was a, a very debatable decision, but he got the nod. Indian national champion, unsurprisingly. Boxed in the World Championships in 2019, got to the quarterfinals where he lost to Julio Castillo, who we've just seen, of course. So, two orthodox fighters here Sanjit of India in the blue, Stotsky of the Russian Boxing Federation in the red. Up on his toes there, Stotsky. Low lead left hand. Sanji with a, a wider kind of stance. Not quite as much going on with him. Looking for that long right hand. Right to the body there from Stotsky. lead hand up there Stotsky scoring with the jab not much to it but it landed on the chest Sanji just falls in behind the right hand a bit there doubling up on the jab there Sanji left hand from Stotsky catches him ladies and gentlemen in the bout number 203 the ring A the winner of points by unanimous decision is the boxer out of the Red Ponats representing Cuba, Julio Lacruz and Raza. One of the real big names of the sport making his way into the ring in, in ring A, Julio Lacruz, four-time world champion, double Olympic champion. Looking to add a fifth world championship goal, what would be his first at heavyweight, all of his other major medals apart from that gold in Tokyo which was at heavyweight of course that's the division he's in here they were all at light heavy 81 kilos Sanji just using those feet moving around the outside of the ring long right hand gets through there from him and he's circling at a distance there <laughs> Sanji he's absolutely miles away from Stotsky who's in the center of the ring Right hand on the inside there from Sanji. Stotsky gives him on round the back of the head. Referee's not too worried about it. Ladies and gentlemen, we now proceed to the bout number 204 in the ring A in a match heavyweight division. Ringside judges from Turkey, Republic of Korea, Netherlands, Canada, and Puerto Rico. The stools come in at the end of round one. In the ring, Sanji landed with a couple of long right hands there, and I think that's maybe enough just to get him that round. Four round of the five judges go his way. Spain scores it for Stotsky, everybody else goes to Sanji. Not a great deal happened in that first three minutes. There's one of those right hands.
So Sanjeet with the advantage after that opening three minutes. Combination on the ropes away to our right there from Stotsky. Nice and sharp. Sanjeev again looking for an overhand right that time. Walks onto a jab as he comes in. Right hand was solid there from Sanjeev. I think that landed to the body, to the chest area. When he gets up close, he lets his hands go nice and quick, Stotsky. For a fighter of this size, of this weight, he's got quick hands, but the accuracy hasn't quite been there. Sanji is careful not to get caught at that distance. I had a chuckle in the first round because he was cantering around the outside of the ring about as far away from his opponent as he could possibly get. When he is choosing to engage, he's trying to box on the outside and not get entangled on the inside too much because Stotsky is an inside fighter. Kind of flicks with a jab and then looks to try and land that right closer in as he did there. Left hand there from Sanjeev through the left and then moved off to his left. The referee talking to Stotsky about slapping, punching with the inside of the glove. Stotsky finds himself on the end of a jab there from Sanjeev. Combination from Stotsky. Right from Sanjeev. That long right hand has got three for him at times. He's looking for the uppercut there, Stotsky, as Sanjeev came in. Is open there for Stotsky. And he's breathing quite heavily. Final 30 seconds of round two. Decent jab from Sanji. Split scoring in that round two, the judges going for Stotsky, the other three going for Sanjeet. So Sanjeet with a two point lead on three cards going into the third and final round. There was more activity in that second round. And Stotsky did do some decent work on the inside at times. Uppercut there from Sanjeet off the back of a right hand from Stotsky. Sanjeet landed some good shots himself. It was pretty even. So the fact that we got split scoring there makes sense to me. Mistotsky needed to get three out of five to keep this alive, really. It's still alive because he could score 10 eights in the final round. At the higher weights, things could get turned around with one punch very, very quickly. They can at all weights, but more so at the higher weights. And that's what he needs to do here, really, because with only those two level cards, if he wins with those, that's not enough. He needs to turn around one of those 20 points to 18 cards, and he's looking aggressive at the start of the round, which he absolutely has to.
careful there, Sanji. He knew what he was doing. The referee had said stop. He pushed his opponent off and then threw the right hand anyway. And if he connected clean with it, he could have had a problem there, actually, the Indian fighter. Stotsky just on the prowl there, then throws the right hand to the body. And he's just going to get out done here. Because even if he does get this final round, it's not going to be enough for him. Sanjit's a, a cagey, crafty kind of fighter. Again there, they're just in the clinch. Stotsky probably thought the referee was going to order them to stop boxing. He didn't. Sanji just pushed him off and then looked for a right hand and then tries to find room for the uppercut on the inside there. Good right hand from Sanji. Just a little dip to the left and then through that right hand. with the left he doesn't really get too much purchase into his punches that's one thing you notice about Stotsky watching him throughout that fight he stands up quite tall looked again onto the inside then let his hands go but never really sets his feet so he's got quick hands but nothing he gets through with is all that heavy and Sanji didn't allow him to get through with too much on the inside anyway so Sanjit's going to go through here. It's just a question of how the scores turn out because he was two points up on three cards going into the final round. The other two were level.